up, Jeff? It's your boy, Lowdell Parks, coming to you from the Gateway to the West, St. Louis, Missouri. I've got one question. As you can see, my wide grip pull-ups, when I start to fatigue, I lose my form. I've tried weights to bring me down to 8 to 10 reps. I've tried negatives. Nothing seems to work. When I get fatigued, my shoulders will not let me stay under the bar. Do I continue pull-ups or do I stop and get ready for the next set once I start to lose my form? I signed up with your program five years ago when I retired so I could get in shape and enjoy my great-grandkids. I don't have any before pictures because I would not let anybody take them. But I never expected to look like this at 70. Before after. I love you, man. Hey, Lodell, thank you for your question. It's actually a very good question. It's a common problem, not just with pull-ups, but anytime you have to hang from a bar. A lot of it has to do with strength and stability, and maybe not necessarily in the areas that you're thinking. You're thinking your shoulders, but really it's more in your back and your shoulder blades. And specifically, what is the stability and the strength in your lower traps or possibly even your serratus to be able to keep your shoulder blades attached and in contact with your ribcage as you go up and down. What happens is the fatigue starts to set in and you lose the ability to keep your shoulder blades together and they start to drift out. That allows you or causes you to start drifting away from the bar because your shoulders just can't stay in that pinned back position as you go up and down. We want to be able to rotate our scapula up and down as we raise up but stay in contact with our ribcage. So there's a couple things that you can start doing. Number one, first of all too, let's get a disclaimer out here. A lot of times people can't steady themselves under a bar because their core is not strong enough. I would say check that first and make sure that you have adequate core strength. If you find that when you're swaying, you tighten your abs, you can immediately uh, uh, find yourself much more steady, then you might want to work on building up your core strength by doing some hanging uh, uh, ab strengthening exercises. But if we go back to the extra work that I was going to prescribe for you here, you go to a bench and you do what we call sort of a stable Y. The stable Y is it forces you to first stabilize and engage the lower traps by really pinching your shoulder blades down and back together and then performing a dumbbell Y up and overhead. You don't do any single rep unless you first set and establish the stability and the contraction there between your shoulder blades before you do the move. You would do this in a few extra sets, a few extra times per week to try to start developing some additional strength. Then before you even go back to the pull-up bar, you go and you do this modified version of a pull-up. We sort of focus on that upper half of the pull-up, the part that's giving you the most trouble. You do that by setting the bar here at about shoulder height and then positioning yourself underneath and what you're trying to do is keep your body going straight up and down. Focus on driving straight up your chin towards the bar without any of the swaying. But we do this by setting the shoulder blades back and down and maintaining that throughout. Again, it's a shorter range of motion so it's a little easier here for us and you don't have to worry about as much sway because you're simply right here again, knees touching the ground at every single rep. Now try to work on this and try to incorporate a little bit more strength here and you'll increase the top end strength of your pull-ups. But to answer your question about whether you need to ditch pull-ups altogether while you're working on this, not at all. You're able to do at least 8, 9, 10 from what I can see here in this video in great form. So we're just talking about what happens as you fatigue. Keep pushing through those. There's no disadvantage to, you know, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a cheat method to allow you to build a little bit more pull-up strength and not just drop off the bar the second it gets difficult for you, but it's going to help you to build more shoulder stability as you continue here down the road so that you'll be able to do more correct pull-ups without the cheat down the road. I hope that makes a lot of sense here for you. So all this together is what you really want to do. And guys, there's a lot of cheats that our body uses to get ourselves around what we do. If you're looking for a way to start training your body the way it's meant to be trained and start becoming a lot more strong from your toes all the way to your fingertips, then guys, start training like an athlete. That's what we do here at Athlete X. In the meantime, if you want your question answered just like Lodell, I tell you all the time, send your question, video question, to Media Relations at AthleanX.com. I'll put the email address right down here and we'll sort through them and do our best to get to your question here in one of the four videos a week that we do on our channel. Alright guys, we'll be back here again with another video uh, very, very soon. See ya.